Hi, in this video, I wanna show you the All Powers portable 600 watt solar panel in case this is something you're interested in getting. Now, full disclosure, All Powers did send this to me for review, but everything in this video is my own opinion. So let me start off with some positives about this. I have not personally seen any portable solar panel larger than 400 watts. So the fact that this one is 600 watts and portable is very amazing. And what's also amazing is how light it is. So when I first got this and picked this up, I expected it to be heavier than the portable 400 watt solar panels that I have, but this one is lighter. This is about 27 and a half pounds and 600 watts. So those things uh, are pretty amazing uh, features of this solar panel. It has two clips here. I'll show you how this unclips and how it works. On the back side of this, it's got a watertight zipper. You can open up. You have MC4 connectors to this solar panel, which is very standard. It comes with a, a number of Velcro straps. It has an MC4 to XT60 connector, an MC4 extension cable. It has uh, six carabiners, and I'll show you where those hook in, and then uh, a manual. So you can zip all that up. I like how you can keep everything inside of there. So here's how this works. Uh, you unclip these, and then you unfold it. There are six segments that are 100 watts each. They operate independently of each other because they're wired in parallel, which is very good because if you have any shading, uh, it's not going to impact the whole production. So you unfold it like this, and sometimes to get it where you want it to be, you can unfold half of it, and then you grab these hooks that are on the edges, and you can unfold it. So you have the whole thing out like this, and if you need to adjust it, you can just pull it, and then you have it like this. So besides being the largest portable solar panel that I've ever seen, another unique thing about this whole setup is that it doesn't come with a stand. There's no kickstand on here. So you can lay it out like it is right here for like maximum speed to set up and start collecting sunlight, um, or you could lean one of the sides up against something. So you could lean it up and kind of angle some of it towards the sun. On all the corners here, there is a fabric hook and those carabiners that I showed you, you can use them to hook them onto something else. So maybe the side of your RV uh, or the, the roof of your RV. So I have it hooked up now to a portable power station that can handle up to 600 watts of solar input. And a setup like this when it's laying flat is generally not going to make 600 watts because the sun would have to be coming down straight on here at a 90 degree angle. That's how you get the most out of solar cells. However, because this is so lightweight and easy and quick to set up, it could be a good match for a lot of people who are just looking for something to get a lot of wattage of solar out very quickly to charge up batteries. So for example, it is uh, in the afternoon here, the sun is coming down like this. I don't expect it to make a whole lot. And on this power station here, it's making about 300 watts of solar. So in this setup, there are six individual 100 watt solar panels wired in parallel. So you don't, they have excellent shade tolerance. So if I were to shade these two panels here, these four are still going to, going to be producing their maximum uh, potential. Again, with the angle of that sun, they're not going to be making 400 watts of solar, uh, but we can, I can shade two of them and let's see what, what it is. So this one is about 200 watts of solar. You can't really see that because of the sun, but uh, so I have these two shaded and those four are making 200 watts. And if I were to get out of the way, it should go back up closer to 300. So it says 270 right there. You probably can't see that. So it's closer to 300 watts, uh, it changes a little bit. But I, I really like how portable this is and how lightweight these panels are. So to really to get 600 watts in something that's 27 and a half pounds, again, it's pretty incredible. And I think this will fit well for many people's situations. So if you're looking for a solar panel with a stand where you can angle it easily 
uh, at the sun, this is really probably not the thing that you should get. But if you're looking for a lot of wattage that you can carry around very easily and set up very easily, this may be a solar panel to look at. Now let me show you what it looks like to fold this back up and how long it takes. You always wanna be careful with portable solar panels that you don't put any flex on the solar panel itself. They are very fragile. So what you wanna do is grab it where the fabric is or where the hooks are. And you could do this yourself, but you want to be careful that you don't cause any, uh, any damage to the solar cell. So that was fine. Just lay it down. You can do this by yourself. And then it folds up like this. Always go slow. And this gives you a sense of how long it takes to fold this back up. I like how the, the clips fit just fine. And then you, you have your handle and you can just pick it up and carry it around. It really is amazing how light this is, how portable it is to get so much wattage uh, in a solar panel. So hopefully this has been a helpful look at the All Powers 600 watt portable solar panel.